nice. Still feels like Paimon's dreaming. Oh, good morning! What? What's with everyone's clothes? <laughs> so, how do we look? <laughs> we changed into summer clothes. Although we didn't come here to have fun, we don't want to miss out on a beautiful summer day by the sea. Uh, this doesn't look weird, does it? <sighs> Such light and summery clothing definitely doesn't suit me. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Really? <sighs> Thank you, Traveler. It's surprising that Master Jean would specially pack summer clothes. Oh, <laughs> no. My big sister would never pack these herself. Lisa and I picked them out for her. Learning how big sister and not even realizing it? Barb was drunk on summer already. There's quite a story behind these summer clothes. I thought Lisa's pouch was to be used for an emergency. I didn't expect it to contain a set of summer clothing. All these accessories, too. Definitely Lisa's handiwork. Everyone in the Knights of Favonius is always trying to have me take leave. I suppose I do push myself too much. Everyone, come over here! That's Klee's voice. I saw something weird. Huh? What's going on? What do you mean by something weird? Look at the ocean. See? There's something weird floating on the water. That narrow device. It seems to be a buoy. But we didn't see anything when we arrived here yesterday. <gasps> Dodo King must have put them there. Strange devices that just appear overnight? Something doesn't add up. Well, since he hasn't revealed himself to us, does that mean he's changed his mind? Or maybe... Maybe these buoys are a clue and he's waiting for me to find him. So could that be why these buoys have suddenly appeared? Right. We won't solve anything by guessing on shore. Is it okay to go out there, though? Perhaps. But we must investigate the buoys regardless. It's hard to say what will be waiting for us at sea. <sighs> Just in case, prepare yourselves for combat. Once you are ready, please assemble here, and we'll head over on the boat together. Uh, not at all. This is... just my duty. Now then, I'll entrust the preparation efforts to all of you. The sound! started shaking, I heard the sound of machinery. I believe there may be an immense mechanical structure under this region of the ocean. With the entire archipelago situated on a mechanical framework, it could be activated to raise each island from beneath the water. Something like that would be nothing short of a miracle. Could it be the power of the Animo Archon Barbados? Hmm, probably not. Paimon feels like this is more likely a deliberate setup. It's incredible, no matter how you think of it. Using a letter to draw us here, and these challenges involving various mechanisms? <sighs> the so-called Dodo King is no amateur. Aww. There 
there goes the holiday mood. Hmm. Well, either way, I will do my best to remain vigilant. Wow! Master Jane's so cool when she's determined! Thank you for your understanding. I found him! It's Dodo King! He's over there on that island! <laughs> gotcha! You wanted Klee to come find you, so here Klee comes! Jumpy Dumpties, get ready! Let's go! Is that... a platform in the middle of the ocean? Something has appeared. Everyone, we can take a closer look, but please be on guard. <laughs> 